<laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here, your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm going to have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. think it's the most significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Reykjavik, Iceland. Introducing the challenger, Butcher. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds, fighting out of Independence, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, D. Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, surround your corners, come out fighting. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? 
in this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight. Kevin. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown he us has that it's hurt. possible. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display. Mijic gets the takedown there. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. that will finish the fight. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Just misses there with the left. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right up the elbow. Oh! Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed. And he almost got the finish. Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Cable engine right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Beautiful leg kick throw.
So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is going to stop in this contest at one minute, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Butcher. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star. All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk. And Cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here's the heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet. Won the heavyweight title fight a few months ago to become the new champion, now looking to stay that way. Make good on the first title defense, continue the championship legacy, and prove to fans that he isn't just a one and done. If they say I'm not the champ until I successfully defend the belt, let me go out and defend it and prove that I am the man they should be chasing in this heavyweight division. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeVing. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 21 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Pelota, presenting the challenger, Andre, the 
And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Reykjavik, Iceland, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Butcher. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go with round one. A few months ago, he became the baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. But he is really not resting on his laurels. He said, that is not enough. In order to really be the champ, I've got to defend this belt. A lot of heavyweight champions haven't been able to do so. This is a belt that changes hands a lot. He says, I'm going to change history. I'm going to be the longest. Oh! Huge right hand! Back to the feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Able to check that kick as well. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Now a kick to the body. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hit behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Butcher. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO, and that's a...
All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John. Stop it. Right hand punch to the clinch. Nice body kick. Oh, take down there by Volkov. Both fighters back to their feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. And now he lands a combination. Oh! Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Volkov. Oh, straight right. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Seconds now to go in round one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Precise range with the high kick. Oh! Volkov gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, that's the quick the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight might not be over now. It's going to be over very soon. Well, good news, bad news, right? The strike there lands, but just not much steam on it because his gas tank seems to be on the verge of empty. The gas tank is completely... Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt 
Man. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Well, no support. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Watch a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic strike. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He's a this Go finish this fight. Another strike to the body, really slow. Oh, he takes that knockout line. He takes the knockout line. He got him. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has gone stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number two. Wearing the winner by knockout and still. So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion, and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think... All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. to defend his title yet again. We'll see if he can keep that trend going here tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the center. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. The Black Beast gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Now find a way to move those feet. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! And both guys really throwing with authority. 
Lewis's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Checks the leg kick. Visibly limping here. is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion, and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that... All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. fight, but not since this man has held it down. Tonight, looking to defend his title yet again. We'll see if he can keep that trend going here tonight. What a body kick. Blocks that strike. He loaded up on that right hand too. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big leg kick land. These guys throwing early. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. There. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hand. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go keep that finish down. Now. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt? Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start shaking. Oh! Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. 
Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch to clinch. And there comes the separation now. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. here just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot clean entries the olympians gotta like what he sees i mean over and over he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts by beating him on the entry now it's up to the opponent to keep up but this guy's playing chess his opponent's playing checkers he's playing chess he can't keep up once he gets to his legs he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body just unable to quite find that range shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 56 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Butcher. And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC. 